Greeting. Here's another great poem for you all. It has a Moses feel to it, but I've never really had a set purpose to any poem whenever I do a poem. I just will be like sitting down somewhere, meditate a little bit, gaze around my area, my environment. So a certain spot gets chosen, I guess, you know, like by the energy. And I'm like tuning in to myself to our you know, tuning into the flow of a message that's to be shared in the form of a poem like manner of thought because when I say manner of thought it's because we call them a poem but they're, to me they're just you know shared thoughts that we call poems because I describe things do in my poems, but I don't know what I'm really describing until I really receive in the words and think of words to set up whatever I'm trying to interpret to make sense. That's enough. Because I didn't know what I was writing a poem. High above the mountains I sit, down below they sit in silence, watching me they are, the beast and the birds. Visions of yesterday's future and tomorrow's past, calling me, I hear the voice, telling me the things of life and the ways of nature. Go now and share with those who will listen. Go unto my children and tell them, for now is the time of love and peace. Unite with one another in stress nevermore. Worry not, for I am always with you. For always the end is near and here, and so is the beginning. Time is never ending and never beginning. We are all one within one, searching for the one, when the one is here, and there, and everywhere. The time has come for the renewal of life, the renewal, the renewal of oneself, the renewal of the beginning. And I wrote this 10 5 99. Is or was this meant to have been written in the Bible? Or was it not just put in? I don't know. You know, it kind of does sound like a Moses type feeling but situation. And to me, I didn't even think about that until someone else told me. And like, were asking me about it. I was trying to write a poem about Moses and I was like, what? Attending the church in '99. That's when I was just been in Alaska for a few months. '99, and all I was doing in Seward was working my butt off at fisheries. I 
been in the store. I just don't remember exactly what I got done doing. gazing at the mountain and you know I, I'd look at that around everywhere just kicking it for a minute enjoying my break and maybe I was eating something too I'm not, I don't remember if I was eating something too but like I was just checking out gazing at the mountain because there's a nice view of the mountain from where I was sitting and all of a sudden bam I don't know how it happens our work. But I would get the feeling of doing the poem. So then I would write the poem. Without a title, without knowing what it was about. Really, because I didn't plan it. And I didn't even know what it was called. break down what I think I am writing about to everybody, what my poem is about, and I mean it's pretty so explanatory I think of what it's about, but I could say some more words about it, and yeah I could still fit it on my Instagram page so I can still say a little bit more. the scenario exactly is like Moses but when I was you know sitting there I was kind of like just envisioning being high above the mountains and somebody sitting there that's really what like came to me the right because that's what like I was looking at the mountain I could have added more words about where it says go now and share with those who will listen. I could have wrote more about then the voice said go down or you know I, I don't really make rough drafts and like second drafts and third drafts of a poem because I just make them one time. I don't change them unless I misspelled a word. You guys can hear this really cool music I'm listening to. I will show you what it's called. Hold on. Here it is. Pretty sure you can see it all, but I'll, I'll read it anyway. It's called Unlock the Akashic Records. Remember. Music. It 
headphones required, but results plus comfortable with headphones, results comfortable. <laughs> Bunch of links. There we go, the information is really cool. This music has been tuned to A4 equals 432 hertz and 60 BPM. 432 hertz resonates with all seven chakras and the universe. Music based on 432 hertz transmits beneficial healing energy because it is the pure tone of math fundamental to nature. Let the music of the spheres play inside you. 432 hertz unites you with a new universal harmony. In this track you will feel highest quality of quantum healing sound therapy beats. It features 432 hertz the miracle meditation music quantum healing tuning. 5.5 hertz moves background knowledge and theta hertz and then 8 hertz bring hemisphere sync. DNA replication hertz, 12 hertz dual ray to all other frequencies, alpha frequencies, 297 hertz, remember mastery, divine scale, remember dimension, intent, quantum healing sound therapy, unlock the Akashic records, remember mastery, move beyond knowledge to know, doorway to all other frequencies. Sync the two brain hemispheres. Love, harmonization, and grounding. And then it has even more cool words saying, tune yourself to the heartbeat of our planet. To understand the healing power behind 432 hertz, you must first learn about another frequency, 8 hertz. It is said that 8 hertz is a fundamental beat of the planet heartbeat of the earth. It is better known as the Schumann Resonance. It is named after physical, well, I mean physicist, <laughs> Weinfred Otto, or Otto Schumann, who documented it mathematically in 1952. Schumann Resonance is a global electromagnetic resonance which has its own origin in electrical discharges of lightning within a cavity existing between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere. This cavity resonates with electromagnetic waves at extremely low frequencies and approximately 7.86 hertz to 8 hertz. The ordinary thought waves created by human brain, they say, range from 14 hertz to 40 hertz. This range only includes certain types of dendrites belonging to brain cells, predominantly within the left, more rational hemisphere of the brain, which is a center of activity. If the two hemispheres of the, our brain are synchronized within each other at 8 Hz, they work more harmoniously than with maximum flow of information. In other words, the frequency of 8 Hz seems to be the key to the other full and sovereign activation potential of our brain. 8 Hz is also the frequency of the double helix in DNA replication. Melatonin and phenolin work on the DNA, including an 8 Hz signal to enable mitosis or mitosis in DNA replication. A form of body temperature superconductivity is evident in this process. That's a pretty cool file I found because I was looking up how to access the Akashic Records and I didn't want to do like some kind of meditation where someone's talking to you, taking you down because I don't know, those don't seem to work on me. So I wanted music and this is the second one of the second one or first one I found. The other one I found that's pretty much just like this is eleven hours, but I didn't want to down that download that and this one is an hour long and eleven minutes. 